Evening, ladies and gentlemen, out there in YouTube land. Welfare here for the AM 49 WIV channel here. What I'm showing you here is two of a two of the three box sets I found this year. I want to do a little, I want to do a video segment of uh, showing up my some of my favorite box six sets I found uh, this year of 2014. In which coincidentally found near the end of this year. <laughs> The two Elvis one, you probably see here, I did previews on a couple other fine videos, and uh, I thought I'd show them off again in case everybody missed it. And one, I'm, I'm going to show off in a little bit, as well as uh, one box that I've been looking for for a good while, too, and uh, tell a little story behind that one, too. Behind that one, too, I said. Right now, let's start off. The first great box set found this year. I found this back in October. Yeah, that's what I paid for it. So I take the so I take the sticker off to show what the uh, show y'all what it looks like. Elvis, the King of Rock and Roll, the Complete Fifties Masters. It's a fine CD box set of a uh, all his recordings he did in the early nineteen fifties. Including ones that have been issued out from this from this great box set that came out in I think 1990. Let me take a look here real quick. Let me get a better light on. Y'all hold on for a second. No correction. 1992. Just list all his uh. 50s recordings of uh, the way 50 masters. Going to one of the ones he did, the first one of the things he mainly did was he was on the Sun label. And when he switched over to uh, RCA, he mixed in there too. On the first two box set, and two, two CDs. And continued on more of his uh, great stuff he did during the uh, 50s before he went in the Army. We're going to CD number five saying unreleased performances, 14 of them. Well, I saw this was the first time I saw so I've been looking for this. This one, the reason I want to show do this that little box set uh, video here because this one I've been looking for for a good while and uh. Glad that I have a good copy of this. And this includes the booklet. Which I probably have had in there. And the stamps. Two from the uh, collectible stamps. It says a limited edition on it. I'm not going to put too much of it. I'm going to wrinkle up the. Uh, on, I don't want none of them to uh, fall apart on me or anything. Yeah, this is what like. One of the good fans, box sets fans I found for 2014. I said the second one here was another Elvis one. I found this probably like I got this a few weeks after, uh, well, a couple weeks after they found the uh, this one. Both of these I did find came from a same dealer I found and I saw the flea market. That's where I got these from. And this one here, my second favorite box set of the year. It's his Elvis walking around with my shoes. The Essential 70s Masters on Home 5 Compact Disc. We'll stick around in here everything. And this not been unwrapped yet. Yes, I paid. This, what you saw in there is true. I paid for it. But hey, it's worth it. Just to cut this thing goes fine with my other. My 60s uh, box set of his from the 60s. And along with the uh, another part of another one called for his movie songs only for the other one, which was a 2 D C D set. This here list the ones that hit singles he had during the 70s, some A and B sides, and that continues on on C D number two. 
and three and four are more studio highlights along with uh, some of the guns are from the 70s too including some here saying previously on release Uh, so I haven't unwrapped this yet, I'm, but I know it's going to be a good one to listen to. And one, and this next one here, to finish up my uh, showing off some of, uh, <coughs> pardon me, that for a second, I had a little something in my throat. Some of the box that I've been looking for for a good while. I'll tell you a little story behind this while I'm showing you this off. Be, this is what I would call maybe one of the best, one of the best so music in there came a box set. It's, I say one of the best, can't say it's number one, but I say it's one of the best. This is something I've been looking for for a while since I'll say 2005. The reason I'm saying that about nine years ago, I was at a, was at a music store which closed up. About well, six years ago, I was looking through their UCD section and uh, found some, saw some loose uh, volumes of this uh, Stax Vault Decomplete Singles 1959-68 9-volume box set. And uh, I found volumes 3, 4, and 6 separately. And after hearing about some great stuff on there, I said to myself, I said to myself, I'll keep an eye on in case any more loose ones. Well, for a good while, I had a hard time trying to find any more loose ones until last weekend I was at a pawn shop and I saw this thing on a shelf. It says Complete Stacks Vote Singles 1959 to 1968, the 9 volume box set. And I said, Oh man, this is so neat. Then I'm looking for the, uh, I'll pull it up a little closer. And I saw this up there saying, Missing One CD. And missing one CD, there was really was asking fifteen dollars for it. I thought to myself, "Oh man, one missing." I wasn't too sure I wanted to get it at first. So I thought I'd go ahead, and took the lid off, and uh, and looked through these here, and see which one was missing. And as I was looking through there, one of the people in the phone shop asked me if I wanted this. And yeah, I said, you say if I'm interested in it, they was gonna let it go for way less what they're asking for. Instead of the $15 they're asking for, the people at the pawn shop let me have them for five bucks. Guys said the same thing, same say to me, it's been sitting around for a good while and don't bother him even bother to, I don't know, either look at it or interested in it. Just because they have been one CD missing. When I say they wanted me, if they want for, ask me if I want for five bucks, I told him sure. In other words, I wouldn't say. Nothing I want to say so to me. <laughs> Anyhow, I did go for five bucks. I was looking through here. What well, was missing, and uh, but anyway, it's a neat box set. And the first, he was time would start with the first three volumes. Second was the second of the three, four to six. And the next one's seven to nine. And as I was looking through a lot of this to see which one was missing, I would check to see if they got number one. Yes, that, uh, that was a missing one. Number two, that one not a missing one either. Same way with number three. Well, that one not missing one up there also. So I try to keep looking around here to see which one. Looking through here to see which one was missing because I had to put it in, in straight ways and numbers to find out which one it is. Four, it was in there. Five, that was already in there. And the one that was missing now here, which, which coincidentally, which I did have, and the good thing I did was volume six because that was the, uh, the, the CD that was originally missing now there. And I was saying, I found this uh, uh, closed up, which closed up several years ago. 
a record store that sells new and used record and CDs and had this in, in their used CD various artists section in 2005. And they got the that three, four, and like I said, they got three, four, or six out of that loose box set. CDs of, the, of them. And it took me several days trying to find the never where I left the uh, volume six, six in my uh, CD collection over there. It took me several days to find it, but found it. Nothing want to say this here box set is complete. And, there, and here's what the others. And the glad I had didn't miss anything of seven, eight, and nine. And I know, in the, probably another reason I got another that goes so cheap also is there was no booklet in it. And the way it looked, like this box here was covered, but has water damage on it. But another reason why I got it at a good price too. And I had only fixed that one corner here. I don't know if you can't see it. Fixed it with a piece of scotch tape. And like I said, it's like a bit of water damage. You can see a little bit of little bulge in the front of the box. And you can tell how bulge it was when you try to flatten it out. And to me, I'm calling this one of the... Uh, this is one of the three great box sets I found this year, along with the two Elvis ones. And you know, I was wondering, you said it had three, four, and six prior to this. What are you going to do, what are you going to do with the other two? Well, I'm going to keep holding on to these uh, three and four that I did found nine years, almost ten years ago. Just in case three and four goes, something goes wrong or get, something gets scratched up on three or four. And uh, keep those as backup just in case. And if I see any more loose ones in the future, anywhere, Keep those two in case anything else happens to them. And for me, when I, was, uh, when I brought this home last weekend, was listening to the ones that I haven't listened to on there. Some interesting stuff on here. If anyone, some of y'all maybe, maybe or maybe not familiar with the uh, old Stax label, Stax Bulk label. It was an independent record company that came out late around 59, around after around 59.60. Started out as like a small label first, and then then Atlanta Records heard some interesting stuff that that label was putting out, which was originally called Satellite Records at first, And had some uh, local local favorite some some of the singles were local hits and some did picked up by uh, Atlantic Records. Yeah, that was the first few singles, first couple of singles that only sell well locally. It was this one by Carlo Thomas really put stacks on the label. Or around that time called it Satellite First. That comes on label with G Wiz. Came the first top 10 for that label. And then, then the biggest one they ever had on that label came was this one by the Marquis around that time called Last Night. And everything was going well on them. Until the, uh, there was, until the, uh, this Satellite Records, I found out there was another label called Satellite Records and And then when it comes to legal hassle with the uh, other satellite label, decided to change the name to they would change the name to Stax Records, and and as the old saying goes, came in nothing we call history. And when some of the songs that you did hear on here, on this box set here, some of them are pretty good and interesting. Of course, they have, of course, the uh, famous Stax label has some famous people. Such famous people like like I mentioned, Carla Thomas, also Rufus Thomas, Booker T and the MGs, and uh, the Marquis. 
Well, some names they came hit dick too, like uh, William Bell here has some hit ones, some good ones here, some songs on here too, along with uh, moving around here a little bit, show you what some of the uh, songs on here, along with the uh, the only people I mentioned above also came to label such artists like Sam and Dave on the, on the Stacks label, plus uh, Otis Radio on the famous Vault label. Same thing for Mad Lads. Whew. That one and Johnny Taylor for the Stacks label. And that's what I say here. Whew. Names could, could, could go on and on. I thought we'd spend a good hour to describe all the songs on here. According to Ryan, I looked it up, there well over 200 songs on this box set. A lot of big hits and uh, some misses. And for me, the ones I did here, great stuff. That's what I just show you here. And for me, this is only the tip of the iceberg. I mean, hope to find some more of these uh, stacks of box sets. Because I know there's two other volumes out there I haven't seen yet. But I saw pictures of them, and uh, hopefully, I had something like that. Hope to find them a great deal in the future. Shout out to you guys. For those who like the old stacks vault recordings here. All what they're showing here is, is the entire. Depends what kind of size they use on some of these. So in all the uh, these all these songs were either A sides or along with some probably some singles with B sides on them on this on this box set. And maybe a few selected B sides were is in the box on this box set. There's one thing I should should mention that uh. When they make this, they make one error. I know some of you saying you might be thinking they did, and what? Let me flip it back up here real quick, and I'll show it to you. Let's see. I think it's on CD on Volume Three. I know anyone there got this box set. If I'm right, let me check it here real quick. They made an error on this box set. It's supposed to be uh, be there be this long Mo Onions on here, or Booker T and NGs. Actually, it turned out to be Tic Tac Toe, the B side to Mo Onions, got on here instead of the uh, Tic Tac Toe going here instead of the Mo Onions. The little markings here. Uh, let me know when I, had, when I first got this loose CD out uh, of volume 3. Got some of the some chart positions on some of them on here. And, uh, that's the only error I can see to find on here what they did on this. And, uh, and I don't know if they are correct or not. But everyone knows if they did, usually put uh, moat onions on here instead of a uh, instead of a uh, tic tac toe. Let me know about it. Because looking back here on the back side here is they still list as a uh, moat onions on here, but it's actually tic tac toe. And this one here is the uh, original volume 3 that came with it. The reason I put the uh, other uh, volume 3 uh, sleeve in here, because the only one was. I think probably what happened was when this. Probably when this thing got water damaged, who had our own it, got water damage to it, must have ruined volume 6 of the CD set. That, and why the others didn't get ruined? Like a big mystery to me. But well, at least I'm glad I did got the uh, other eight volumes in here. And thankfully I did have that volume six for that fifth pound in 2005 to go with it. 
That's my little story behind why I like this this box set so much. I haven't listened to not all the songs on here, but the ones I did hear are three, four, and six. Where I found the uh, them loosely in two thousand five. I know someone tells me it's gonna be a great box set to find, and I did. And like I said, they let me have it for five bucks, and I have to show you what they originally had it for. And I know this thing came with a booklet, but who knows? I might find a book, loose booklet by itself in the future, and uh, I go around with it. All right, I think I spent a little bit of time about some of my favorite box sets, and I was a little behind on this. There's one thing I should use as an honorable mention when it comes to box sets. Five years ago, I found a down some uh, aircraft and crossroads uh, CD box set. They were loose uh, in a Goodwill store. They had CDs one, two, and four, one, three, and four. And for a good while, I had a hard time trying to find a volume to find CD two. And guess what? I finally found it. It goes with the. With the well, I don't have the uh, CDs one, one, three, and four with me. I just want to show you this real quick. Of a uh, Glad I found CD2 of it. Let me say this here's a box of this crossroads for me is now complete. Even though I don't have the regular box and book it by itself, but hey, I got this thing real cheap and hey, it's worth it. Alright, I thought you guys get a look at some of my uh, favorite boxes finds of 2014 and an honorable mention of find one for a missing. It's missing CD for a box set too here. I hope you enjoyed this video some and uh, Comment on what you think about the box sets here. Which one you liked? You know you hear your comments on it Well, I'm gonna bring you on out of here and uh, I just hope everyone have a good evening Welfare here for the AM 49 WYB channel over and out and so on